All right, everybody. So we just listened to the story, Senorita Mariposa, and we looked at the beautiful monarch butterflies and we studied all of the shapes and lines that we see in their butterfly wings. We also talked about how they are symmetrical or the exact same on both sides of their wings. So we are going to create our own Senorita Mariposas. And um, to do that, you are going to take your white piece of paper and fold it in half the hamburger way. So that means I am folding side to side. I am not folding top to bottom. This would be the hot dog way, and that way is going to be too skinny for this. So I need to fold it side to side or hamburger way. And then when you open up your paper, you should have a vertical line that goes down the middle of your paper. So now I'm going to start drawing my mariposa or butterfly, and I'm only going to draw half of my butterfly body. And that's because we are going to be stamping this on the other side, so it will make the other side later when we're ready for that. So you guys are gonna be drawing with a pencil, but I'm going to be drawing with a Sharpie so that you can see it on the screen. I'm gonna start with my butterfly head. So half of a circle. And then I'm gonna make half of my butterfly body. So it's like a long, skinny, skinny half of an oval. So I am not drawing on this side yet. Now I'm gonna make my butterfly wings. So first I'm gonna make a long diagonal line and it goes all the way up to the top of my paper. And then same thing on the bottom. So diagonal line to the bottom of my paper. Now you get to choose whatever kind of line you make to connect your lines together. So you could do a wavy line, zigzag line, you could do a bumpy line, or even like a castle line, whatever you want to put for that butterfly wing, you go ahead and connect your lines with whatever line style you would like. So now this step, you're gonna watch me first and then you're gonna add your shapes once I'm finished demonstrating. So I remember that we looked at all different shapes and lines in the butterfly wings. So I'm going to kind of make up my own design on my butterfly wings using my shapes and lines. So maybe I could add a circle. That would be a large shape. Maybe I could add, maybe I'll do another circle in the middle. And then I remember I looked at all of those little like petal shapes in the butterfly wings. So maybe I could make some of those in my wings. Okay, so you add some lines and shapes to your butterfly. And then when you are finished, we are going to be tracing all of our lines with our liquid black glue. So I am going to very, very gently, very gently squeeze my glue onto my lines that I just made. I'm gonna trace all of the lines that I drew. So now we're going to make this a symmetrical butterfly by closing our paper. So I'm gonna fold the blank side on top of the butterfly side. And now I'm just gonna gently, very, very gently tap on my butterfly wings. And I don't wanna to press too hard because it might smush my design. So I'm just really, really, really gently rubbing or tapping on the back. 
Okay, so when you're finished, it is time for the big reveal. So I'm gonna open up my paper. And now I have a beautiful butterfly that is symmetrical or the exact same on both sides. So our Senorita Mariposas are all finished for today. You can write your name on your paper and put it on the drying rack. And then next week when you come to art, we will paint our butterflies. All right, everybody. So we made our beautiful symmetrical butterflies or mariposas last time in art. We used our black glue and then we folded our paper to create the same design on both sides. So now we're going to paint in our monarch, butter monarch butterflies. And remember, monarch butterflies are always orange, black, and white. So we have already learned that orange is a secondary color and we make orange by mixing yellow with red. So you can make all different kinds of orange by mixing different amounts of yellow and red together. If you add a lot of red and a little bit of yellow, it will make a dark orange. So I'm using my dark orange paint on one of the shapes on my butterfly. And then we also can make lighter orange by mixing a lot of yellow and just a little tiny bit of red in there. So that will make a brighter orange. So you can experiment and make as many orange variations as you can think of. Sometimes your paintbrush might get a little bit dry. So you can see right here, my paintbrush is looking kind of scratchy and dry. So an easy way to fix that is dip your paintbrush in some water. I like to say he's getting a drink. And then now it will work really, really nice and smooth. So when you're finished with your orange, you will need to use some black paint. So your black paint is going to be for the butterfly's head and the butterfly's body. So once your butterfly is dry, and this paint dries pretty quickly, so these might dry while you're kind of painting it. It's so like this side is already dry a little bit. So once our butterflies are dry, we are going to cut them out along this outside edge. So you need to be careful that you are not cutting the wing off. So I'm not gonna keep going up. I'm gonna go around the wing. Then I'm gonna turn my paper go around his body and then I'm going to go around the rest of the wing and I'm being really careful to cut off all of my white paper so I don't want to have any white paper showing on my butterfly. All right, everybody. Well, those are our finished mariposas. We looked at monarch butterflies. We listened to the story, Senorita Mariposa. And we learned that monarch butterflies migrate to Mexico every year and they fly thousands of miles to get there. 
So when you're finished with your butterflies today, you can put them on the drying rack and clean up your area.